There's the perception that there's an over-identification, yes. but it's, it's backwards. It's compl I mean, it's, it's demonstrated over and over and over again. We know the data, which is that uh, children who are Caucasian are much more likely to be diagnosed and treated with ADHD. The, the number of affected children who are African American is so much smaller that they actually get diagnosed, and the ones that are diagnosed are, are much less likely to be treated with medications and without medications. There are many barriers, not all of which are access to care. There's a tremendous fear and anxiety, especially in African American communities. Our overall ignorance about what ADHD is and what the risks are of treatment with medication and all of that, I think, are hugely amplified in, in, uh, in those communities. There are a group of um, black psychiatrists and others who feel that there are a lot of black kids with uh, attention deficit disorder and learning disabilities who are not getting diagnosed and not being offered the potential benefits of medication. Okay. There's another group, and this is also true, of some black kids where they feel they quickly dump them in that category, who may be um, naturally a little hyper or reacting to situations at home that it's a manifestation of uh, anxiety, uh, conflict, distraction, something, something else, some kind of behavioral thing, and it's not ADD. There's some reports that indicate that black boys have more learning disabilities in ADD than white boys do. Boys in general have three or four times as much ADD as girls. So what's going on is very complicated. That is, what's just misdiagnosis so they're being put in that category? Uh, what's kind of discarding them to special education because there's a behavior I issue that no one wants to deal with, so they just put them in, in that category? And what is real?